Okay, my folks, a nice beautiful clear sky here in Florida. The sun's just starting to peak up. So I get a picture of my panels. About oh, 55 degrees this morning. Really quite pretty. The skies are blue. It's about after 8 o'clock. You can see where the sun's at. And let's see if I can get these in here. There's a uh, 4 Renergy 100 watt. 12 volt panels ran in series parallel and they run into that conduit down around alongside the house and then inside. I ran my batteries last night for my entertainment center. I ran them down. Oh Probably about 80%, so we'll see how she kicks off and runs. I don't use the batteries very much, just want to do a test and see what kind of power I'm putting out. So, click you off here, we'll go inside and see what we're doing. Okay, we're back. Here's my conduit coming down 24 volts on the panels. Uh, let's see, we're already doing 3.1 amps. The sun is just barely peaking. Uh, went ahead and reset. I can just disconnect this right here and it resets this meter, this little watt meter. And it's a data logger also. You can see where it comes up in the corner. 14.7 watt hours, 3.22 amp peak. 12 point, oh, it's going by pretty fast. We already put 1.1 amp hours in from this morning. Voltage is slowly climbing. We're at 41 watts. That's the real time. 41.6 watts. That's the amperage we're charging. 3.24 amps. And that's the watts peak, amp hour, watt hour, 15 watt hours, amps peak, volts minimum. You can see this morning. Well, we started charging when it comes back around to the VM that's volts minimum we started at uh, 12.28 so to give you the idea where my batteries were first thing after running them last night this is a good little data logger just to see what you're doing throughout the day you can run uh, 50 amps through it continuously and uh, I ran it through the ground side you can hook this up in many different configurations you can find it online but uh, there's no amperage running through this wire this just powers the meter so whenever I reset this or disconnect it it'll reset the meter so we'll uh, we'll see what we put in this thing through the day so far it's three and a half amps is the most we've gotten 44 watts peak and put 1.2 amp hours in it alright so we'll come back and Check it out and see if we can get those six Trojans back up to snuff. And if I get them in float mode, then I'm going to start pulling on them and just check throughout the day and see how much power we get throughout the day in January with the sun low. Alright, let me pause the video and we'll see you in just a few minutes. Okay, we're an hour into the test. It's 9 o'clock. 200 watts. Yeah, we're charging at 7.2 amps. And the batteries are up to 13.2 volts already. So far, our watt amp hours we put 5.1 amp hours in. 7.84 amps peak. 102 watts peak. 5.1 amp hours. 66 watt hours. And we're climbing so. I'm probably going to have to put a load on here in a minute to 
continue and see what we're going to put out or else it's just going to go on the float and we're not going to get a true accurate uh, performance test. Okay, be right back. Alright, um, 9.37 and I noticed that the battery had went in the float already. So what I did, putting out 184 watts now and 14 amps, it was dropping down because it was going in the float. So I went ahead and I turned my computer on and a laptop and another monitor and now I'm pulling uh, 140 to 150 depending on what the processor is doing in the computer. That's what I'm pulling off the inverter and the battery bank in order to keep this climbing up because it's only 9.30 so we've only had maybe two and a half hours of sun and it would have just topped off my batteries and we wouldn't get a true um, uh, data log so 187 watts peak 11, 11 amp hours already and I've only had this meter plugged in since 8 so I'm only measuring from 8 o'clock because the sun was just peeking over the trees at that point so I might have to put more of a load on it in order to keep this going up but we'll see what we can't get out of it today Okay, just going to show you what kind of sun we're getting. I'm standing directly under my solar panels. They do face directly south, but they are fixed. And they're at about a 40 degree angle. So, try not to get blinded too much, but if I go straight up, you can see the sun's just peeking over. It's just peeking over the trees. So, the sun should be right around here at noon but I'm already making close to 200 watts and then it's gonna keep climbing up to here and the tree doesn't interfere with the panels and it's just gonna keep climbing down the skyline all the way down and it gets dark this time of year at about six o'clock but I'll probably stop making power about 530 so just to give you an idea where we're at we're gonna walk inside right now and I'll show you what we're producing at 10 o'clock in the morning Okay, just went outside to show you where the sun was. My grandson's beating on the door. That's what you hear back there. Anyway, 18 amp hours already. We're putting in almost 17 amps. 10.05 a.m. Uh, about 71 degrees. Okay, so I had to put a, uh, a load on it, like I said a few minutes ago. So, um, the most we've seen so far, as far as wattage from these panels, is 220 watts peak. And we're doing 240 amp hours. That's 17 amps. Let's see what our amps peak were. Seventeen point one. Yeah, we're pulling 150 watts. I'm gonna have to bump that up. As this is reading the battery voltage here. The glare. Uh, 13.3. Eh, maybe not just yet. I'm still putting a little bit in the batteries too because I can hear them sizzling just a little bit. So not only am I producing power, I'm also charging my battery. So with an MPP with only 400 watts, you can still get six Trojans. Pulling 100. So I got two. 226. I'm pulling 150. So I got 75. That's 75 watts going into there, and you can just barely hear them sizzling just a little bit. They're not gassing off very much. I do have windows open, fans blowing on it. I got a good cross ventilation here because I haven't uh, made the box yet. But we'll come back probably around noon and. Uh, See what we're putting out then. So almost 18 amps. It's looking pretty good. Oh, one more thing. Uh, I went to a solar calculator online. This is going to be difficult to see here, but it's like a bit of glare coming in. 
this is where I am, Florida. And they're saying that in January my panel should be at 46 degrees. Hopefully this isn't flickering too much for you guys because this is right on the screen. And I'm at 40, which is even where it says in a, now when I did this test, similar test, back in uh, June and July, they wanted the panels mounted more like this angle because the sun goes directly overhead. And they were still at 40, but I got 373 watts was my maximum during the day and my panels were only at the 40 degree angle so the angle is not as crucial from what I can see as a tracker would be from side to side so anyway let's see what she's doing in another hour okay it's 11 30 21.36 amps 281 watts Sun still isn't directly overhead on the panels, and I'm not sure I'm pulling enough load on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug a hundred. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this hundred watt light in here. So now we're pulling 256 watts from the inverter, and let's see what's going on here. getting a cloud figures there we go 264 265 267 268 climbing right on up 44 amp hours what we put in the batteries since 8 o'clock and it's 1130 288 watts peak Not too bad. Come back when the sun's directly overhead. All right, well, it's noon, but we're getting clouds coming through. So I'm not, I was hoping for a full blue sky, but a full clear sky. It's just getting cloudy. So we're, we're at about 280 through this cover here. It's still pretty sunny. And uh, I'm hoping it'll break here in a minute. See what kind of maximum output we get with the sun directly over the panels. All right, be right back. All right, three o'clock. Clouds came in. Uh, still drawing the same stuff, but it's only putting in 8.5 amps. 1400 watt hours, 23 amp hours. 300 watt peak because of the clouds but I didn't get a full day in but still turned out pretty good so I'm happy with it I'll uh, try to get a whole clear day and we'll try another test okay five o'clock sun's just about down let's see what we got here six watts half an amp 300 watt peak, 56 amp hours, 1,596 watt hours. So we only had a 23 amp peak. And that's because beginning of the day it was doing good, it was nice and clear. Then it got cloudy right when the sun would have put off the most power. So uh, this was probably what you'd consider an average day in Florida. Cloudy in the afternoon. So 400 watts of panels, you expect to put 56 amp hours in your battery. Or, uh, is it 1,500? 1,000, there's 1,600 watt hours. So not too shabby. Anyway, that's it. Batteries are 13 volts. Probably still a little low. I left that load on all day long, so I'll get them batteries charged up tomorrow and I'll uh, put this online.
Leave some comments. Thanks, guys.